This blue poison dart frog is about to eat lunch. Did you miss it? Let's see that again in slow motion. Now again in super slow-mo. John Gibbons of the Smithsonian's National Zoo tells us all about these amazing amphibians. They've gotten their name, poison dart frog, only because of a couple species that were used by native inhabitants of the rainforest that would actually take their arrowheads or their darts and rub them on the backs of these frogs, then adopting the toxins off the frog onto the arrowhead that they would then use to kill larger mammals. The poison dart frogs that we have here at the zoo aren't actually poisonous. And that's because this family of frogs aren't poisonous by nature. They're poisonous because of the things that they eat. Because frogs are amphibians, they have a porous skin, and that skin seeps out those toxins, making the frogs then toxic themselves. In nature, as a, as a kind of a, a wide-sweeping rule, bright colors means beware. But when people think of frogs, they usually think of green. In the jungle, that's where everything is turned on its head. And you'll see some of the most brightly colored, bizarrely patterned frogs right in the Central and South American rainforest. And the rainforest is so huge, are there some that probably haven't even been found yet? We've only really examined a very small portion of it. So it goes to say that there's a lot we don't know. One of the other things that's odd about them is that they don't have webs in their feet. They're not what we would call an aquatic frog. Where they live is more very, very moist jungle floor. There are certain species that live in um, certain kinds of plants called bromeliads. Those bromeliads cap capture the rainwater and fill up, almost like a funnel or a vase. And these frogs actually will live their whole life inside these bromeliads. They'll live, they'll hunt in there, get their insects from there, they'll actually mate and lay their eggs and raise their young in these plants as well. Some of the species that do live in these bromeliads um, could possibly live, could be born and die all within the same plant. So when you look at something like a jungle or a rainforest that's so vast, you have life cycles that are sometimes not expanding beyond a square foot. 